Look for him to be very strong in the air on crosses. And against the Philadelphia Union, he also had very good footwork that got him out of some uncomfortable situations as he was able to juke out forwards that were chasing him down. Rather lofted back up to a Montalvo from Hale, but Montalvo dealt with it well. Now it's Mason Deeds' turn. McKinney, little touch onto the outside. And the ball slid through, looking for the runs of either Devin Vega or Toshi. DeAndrea is playing very. Mingachos rolls it out wide. Good defending on the far side. Yasuda, long ball looking for the run of Vega. Two players from the starting 11 of their respective conferences. Tonight, Tim Ford out of Cal South. His assistant referees are Andy Duker from Oregon, Joshua Hams from Washington, and Mike Arrington, who referees in Finally bought down after a bit of head tennis. Chance for a cross. Two players sniffing around in the box for FC Dallas. And the opening goal. Against the Philadelphia Union is on the board here in the finals. And FC Dallas have a 1-0 lead in the 12th minute. FC Dallas, number 11, number 14, Weston McKinney. 16-year-old has come up trumps here. Teixeira. And a good job by Deeds to come over and mop up. One from Munjoma. And it's the architect of the goal. Montes Doeca trying to weave his way through, and he almost did. Just couldn't latch onto it. And now it's Ramos looking to clear. Montalvo, check that. Vega dispossessed. But it's one back by FC Dallas. Deeds doing the defending, but Munjoma steps inside of him. Able to get by Mingachos as well. Space on the far side. Pushed forward by Gilby. Cleared right back down. Looking for Montes de Oca, but it's all the way. Swung in by Damian Hernandez. However, it's right into the breadbasket of Xavier Kennedy. has issued a yellow card in the 17th minute to New York Mason Red Bulls, Deeds. number seven, Sean Teixeira. Marin, dispossessed. And streaking forward once again, FC Dallas. Perno lets the ball go before he slid out of bounds. Or slid out of the box, I should say. It's once again, the high pressure of FC Dallas. For as he was about to get out of bounds and turning and going back in. As long as the ball stays in, his feet is allowed to go back out. He just can't touch the ball when it's out of the box, and he is as well. Dallas on the far side, and they win the throw in the 22nd minute. Leading 1-0 on an 11th minute header from Weston McKinney off of the San Jose Earthquakes and the Colorado Rapids. Also played in the prestigious Copa Libertadores tournament with Peruvian giant Sporting Cristal. West Development Academy to create world-class players. Montalvo, long searching ball just skipping on the wet surface past Vega, but a good look from Montalvo. Vega, another member of this U-17 men's national team pool. Leave for Deeds, and he'll take the throw in. Mingachos won the first header, couldn't get the second. Dribbling 
driving into the box. FC Dallas played over for Vega. Vega, little touch on. Off to DeAndre. You can see he has that free roll to float from wing to wing. Deeds. Flicks it out wide for Teixeira. Now Perno with a long run back to his center back position. Deeds header only as far as Hernandez. McKinney. Munjoma. Birthday boy looking for the target forward. And swung in once again by Montes Doeca. Chance for Vega. A great job coming over and cover from Mason Deeds. But Deeds did a great job coming over and cover. Perno flying in as well. DeAndre, dispossessed by Hernandez. McKinney looking to run. Good ball into the channel. It was Vega making a run right down the heart of the Red Bulls defense. They're being hesitant, and it allows it to fall back to the feet of FC Dallas. This is McKinney, weaves his way into the box. Little touch out wide for Vega. He clips it to the far post. And Powder with a smart backwards header to get it clear. And that's the kind of soccer IQ that these development academies are giving to these young players. Most players would have just wanted to get something on it. Powder had the presence of mind to not only clear it, as that should be a hit. Cannon, assessing his options. It's a good ball, and it's another good ball, and this is Hernandez. Oh, he scuffed his shot. Sportingly given back to Deeds by FC Dallas. Marin. Number 17, Rodrigo D'Andrea. And D'Andrea did get that yellow card. Some would say he was very lucky not to see red. Marin. New York FC Red Bulls Bulls straight on. So one substitution made at halftime, and it was the New York Red Bulls. See if Kyle Casey can come on and change the complexion of this game, but it's credited with the goal. More adversity for the New York Red Bulls, trailing three nothing now, and in danger of being shut out for the first time the entire season. Powder. The cry from the bench as the Red Bulls came off at halftime was this isn't over, there's still time, there's still time from F. It was continue to pressure them, do not let up. And FC Dallas. Marin with the nifty little flick, but nobody making the diagonal run across. And Powder will get there before Yasuda. Forty-fifth minute, and the third goal for FC Dallas. Working on a shutout streak that would go across the entire playoffs. They lost their last game of the regular season three to nothing to the Houston Dynamo, but have since won every game, of course, and have not given up a goal. And they're looking for more here. Good work by Yasuda to win that. Tees one up, flashes just wide of Xavier Kennedy's post. Toshiki Yasuda, the 17 year old has 18 goals in 30 games so far this season. This being his 30th appearance. Oh, has a goal and an assist though, Montes de Oca. Had his first assist of the season before going on to score his 21st goal of the season.
still trying to find a way through this FC Dallas defense, who's now looking to turn to attack. Heavy challenge. Play go on, says the referee. After the risk, the restart for Vega. And this time, it's Montes de Oca who's whistled for the foul. Third goal for FC Dallas. Saramago. Powder. Powder. Seen a lot more of the ball in the second half. Powder. Gilby. You can tell the three players across that line in Gilby, Mingachos, and DeAndrea change positions fluidly. Just always swapping and interchanging their spot. Goal kick for Kennedy. Chips presented by Chevrolet. Hope you're enjoying our coverage provided by Turbo Sports. It's FC Dallas running rampant in this one. The New York Red Bulls have played very well, but FC Dallas has been able to keep them at bay, trying to do... Flicked on. They've taken their foot off the gas just a little bit, FC Dallas. But credit to the Red Bulls have pressed much higher, which is something that they've been working. And FC Dallas handled the high press very well in the first half. Hasn't been able to deal with it as well here in the second. But the Red Bulls, despite some good chances, Kennedy clears. Perno misplays it. Little touch out wide for Yasuda. Good sliding challenge from Deeds. And then Deeds using his body well. Winning the free kick. So we are inside the final 15 minutes of the U.S. Development Academy Championship match between the New York Red Bulls and FC Dallas U15 16s. Not before they were down 3 0. Deeds. Has already seen time with the New York Red Bulls, too. Space for Yasuda. Yasuda cuts it back. Still going, Yasuda. Creating the space for himself and almost finding the net. What year old making his 19th appearance of the season. Has six goals to his name. But so far in this game, no one in a New York Red Bulls jersey has been able to get their name up in lights. Good high pressure from the Red Bulls. The double team winning it back in midfield. Smash clear by FC Dallas. In the corner. Shiganobu gets there first, but Ramirez skips by Gilby as well. And that's a good ball in. Deeds defending, giving up the corner kick. The player fell, his hand hitting the top of the ball. And the referee really having no option other than to give the Red Bulls a get out of jail free card. 